I'm Kenny Stansfield and uh, we've had a lot of postings and questions about our dialysis center here in Vernal and we would like to give you a tour and talk about dialysis and show you the new building. So this is where the patients will first come in. This is where they'll kind of check in. They come and they wash their hands, their fistula, and they'll be able to weigh themselves and be able to, um, this will be an in-floor scale, and be able to check in and be ready for dialysis. This is where patients will receive their dialysis. Each one of these uh, is a station. We'll have a total of 12 stations here to be able to treat the patients. It has all the connections that they need. It has, um, it'll have headphones for the patients and TVs up above for the patients to be able to watch. And then in the middle, we have our nurses station where the nurses will be able to monitor the patients and take care of all of their needs. All right, so this is the heart of dialysis. This is what makes dialysis run. The water system, to clean patient's blood, we have to have pure water. The water that comes out of the tap is not pure, so we have a very small system here to clean the water. As you see up here on the white pipes, that's where the water first comes in. It goes into this booster pump that allows it to be boosted for the amount of pressure that it needs to, to go through the RO system. It will then go through big blue filters that filter out any large particulates uh, in the water system. Then it goes through two carbon tanks. Each will remove the chlorine and chloramines that the city puts in to make it safe for us to drink, but not safe for dialysis. Then it goes through a water softener to remove any of the hard minerals in tap water. There's a lot of different minerals in there that have to be removed that is not safe for dialysis and this tank removes those. This is the reverse osmosis machine. This is what makes the water pure. After it goes through all those filters, then it comes over here and just like the egg experience in science class in high school, reverse osmosis, it will pull the impurities to one side of the membrane and clean the water. When it comes out, it's pure. I can take my cell phone and dip it in the water and it won't short circuit my cell phone because the water is pure. I pull it out, start using it, no problem. It's good for patients to have pure water when they're dialyzed. We also have on this side, we have the disinfection system. This is a very new system. Our old systems used chemical to disinfect, which then you would have to clean out and make sure the chemical wasn't there so we would not cause harm to the patients. This is now heat disinfect and much safer for the patients to be dialyzed. This room is a room that is set up for home dialysis. We don't have a home dialysis program, but I built the space for it. There are pretty much three different types of dialysis. There's hemodialysis that's in center, there is hemodialysis done in the home, and then there's peritoneal dialysis. Both peritoneal and home hemo are done in the home. It, you have to meet certain requirements to have home dialysis, but very good modalities for patients. We refer ours to the University of Utah, to their program, and the University of Utah takes them. Not everyone is able to do that and meet those requirements, and so we have in-center hemodialysis that we do here. That entails us in the treatment area hooking up patients to the machines that have um, the capability through a dialyzer or a artificial kidney to clean the blood of the patient. And it, our goal is to extend the life and to give quality of life to the patient so that they are able to spend more time with their families and doing the things that they want. And that is why we are putting our new center in Vernal.